Hello, everyone. My name is Chen Ping Qian. I'm a senior staff engineer from Alibaba. Today, I'm going to present Gaia, a system for interactive analysis on distributed graphs using a high-level language. Nowadays, graph data are everywhere. By using a graph algorithm, users can extract deeper insights uh, from complex relationships among entities. In this talk, we focus on one very important type of graph algorithm uh, or work group, namely graph traversal. A graph traversal is a process to build the vertices and edges in a graph. And we discuss traversal on property graphs, which are directed graphs in which vertices and edges can have a set of properties or key value pairs. To give example, let's consider traversal starts at vertex four work along outgoing edges for two hops. Such a computation can be represented uh, by a set of traversal objects. Each traversal represents uh, the current location during the traversal. So initially there's a single traversal located at vertex four. Uh, for the first hop, it forks into two traverses located at vertex two and three respectively. Since there's no further outgoing edges from vertex three, that particular traversal will be discarded. And at the hop two, uh, two additional traverses will be forked from vertex two, uh, located at vertex three and one respectively. And this shows the results. So our work is motivated by real requirements uh, from Alibaba. It is very common on one, on the one hand, it is very common for domain experts, uh, typically non-technical users to directly interact with graph data uh, to locate specific or in-depth information for a particular task. On the other hand, many business critical applications rely on a homogeneous graph consisting of hundred billions or even trillions of edges. This skill far exceeds the capability of individual machines. Although there are many distributed parallel graph processing frameworks, they are too hard to program, especially for our targeted non-technical users. Gaia exploits Gremlin to provide a high-level program model for graph traversal. Gremlin is the default federal standard query language for traversal, which provides familiar notations. It shows example gramming query for finding top K queries of a given length, starting from a specified vertex. The query first locates the vertex using ID and remembered it with label A. Then it repeatedly work the graph along outgoing edges for L minus one times, followed by a filter to test if the next hop connects back to A, which is the starting vertex. In case such a cycle is found, the query re returns top K results. A very nice feature of grounding is support for dynamic control flow, such as loops and conditionals combined with arbitrary nesting of, of traversals. A such flexibility makes it very easy to use and powerful, but on the other hand, introduce complex dependencies among fine-grained traversing steps, which is very hard to scale, and therefore exist solutions suffer from the lack of scalability. So Gaia aims to provide a system that faithfully preserves the program model of Gremlin while extending it to large distributed graphs. Our approach is to compile, compile gram and query into stateful graphs for efficient distributed execution. It is a very simple query uh, where the input graph is assumed to be partitioned across a set of machines. On each machine, the graph partition is accessible to all computation on the same machine. Ideally, each Gremlin step can be mapped to a single stage in the data flow. Uh, so, as similar in other systems like, like Spark or uh, you know, DryLink, uh, which perform transformations 
over collections of traversal objects, which is also highlighted in this diagram. However, nested traversal and dynamic control flow introduce com additional complexities uh, uh, in the design. Here we show a more complex query with a nested traversal uh, being used uh, in within a projection operation. The sub-traversal counts the number of outgoing neighbors for each input traversal to the projection. Since count is a state for computation, in order to produce correct results, uh, input uh, to the count have to be separated if they belong to different outgoing neighbors uh, of different input traverses to the projection. Such a separation contest in this simple case uh, might be easy to, to handle. For example, we can use a special purpose operation for, for this case. However, remember this is the simplest case where Gremlin allows arbitrary nesting of those traverses with dynamic control flow, in which case a correct separation of a separated context for the correct execution can be exceedingly hard. To address this, uh, Gaia introduced a powerful abstraction called Scope, which allows we to model a subgraph of data flow uh, as a single operator. Uh, in addition, uh, for the subgraph operator, uh, additional policies can be specified, uh, which indicates how the input traverses should be grouped together uh, into separate execution contests, we call windows, uh, so that the set of uh, traversal will be uh, conceptually be handled in, in, in isolation, be executed in isolation to produce uh, output uh, correspondingly. Now having this mechanism, uh, the compilation of complex Gremlin queries becomes relatively straightforward. Uh, due to time limit, uh, I won't go delve into uh, every detail, but just give you an intuition that we can follow the same structure, the hierarchical structure of a Gremlin query uh, to represent each nested traversal in the query to a scope and then specify uh, the right policy so that uh, the execution semantics match scrambling specification. Implementing the scope abstraction to be simultaneously correct and efficient is a very challenging task. Let's go back to the simple example. Uh, and we show here an illustration of the execution of a scoped data flow uh, with, a, with a simple policy called context per entry. That is for each input traverser entering the scope, it should be handled in separate context. It is clearly infeasible to create physical operator or subgraphs for each different input, because in our case, the number of such separated contexts at worst case can be as large as the number of intermediate traverses, which can be too many to handle efficiently. Gaia does so by checking data dependencies dynamically at runtime and leverage that dependency information uh, attached to each traversal object. The stateful computation like count can correctly distinguish inputs uh, for updating different states. Having such mechanism uh, of a scope and with efficient implementation, uh, this allows uh, us, we really decoupled correctness concerns in the Gaia runtime design from uh, performance considerations. 
and allow us to implement an efficient data flow runtime. Here, the diagram shows uh, the simple runtime we implemented for Gaia, uh, which is capable of handling multiple concurrent queries on a set of shared multi-core servers. In addition, on each machine, we introduce uh, a local executor that schedules data flow tasks onto multiple cores dynamically. Again, thanks to the scope abstraction, we can schedule those tasks at a granularity much coarser gram than uh, individual traversals, even you know, for dependency, for the correctness of uh, dependencies, we have to uh, be executed for each individual traversal in different contexts. But still we can uh, flexibly uh, batch a segment of traverses and schedule the task at a cost of granularity. And this further allows us to implement advanced optimizations. Uh, again, due to time limit, we refer users to paper for more detail. I just give two examples. Uh, uh, important optimizations for efficient traversal. One example is we implement a hybrid BFS DFS traversal strategy uh, to bond memory usage automatically. This is because different execution order or, or the order of, of different order visiting vertices and edges in the graph can impact the memory requirement for traversal significantly. The other important optimization we have implemented is early stop, uh, which is used to uh, avoid wasted computation given the present of, of, of you know, limit and, 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 and conditional loss that, that can be determined early without uh, fully traverse the graph. Uh, we have implemented Gaia as a full-fledged graph system integrated with, with ThinkPop, which is the project uh, that provide an open source ecosystem for Gremlin. Uh, and we evaluate the system extensively using both synthetic workload and, and real world uh, applications. Here we just highlight a few evaluation results. So first we compared the uh, system with uh, a graph databases uh, on a single machine. And this is to prove that we have a good enough baseline, uh, even both systems use, using single threaded implementation. Next, we show that uh, uh, the system can scale well almost linearly uh, up to 64 nodes. Uh, and then we uh, compare, this is by compare Gaia with itself. Uh, third, we also compare Gaia with optimized hand-tuned implementation using uh, state-of-the-art uh, high-performance data or graph engines, such as Timely Data Flow in, in, in Germany. As we can see, the, the, the optimizations allows us to uh, achieve uh, a significant performance gain uh, with much less memory. Now we conclude. We believe interactive graph exploration plays a crucial role in life cycle of modern web skill graph analytics. And Gaia extends previous graph systems in two important ways. Uh, by exploring uh, uh, Gremlin to provide a high level language for traversal, and at the same time supporting automatic parallel execution with optimizations. An open source release is available at the following GitHub link. Uh, thank you, and, uh, and I'll be happy to take any questions you may have.